the aim of this exercise is to learn how to create an urban database by converting a DXF file. We will be building shapes, towers, courtyards, and adding vegetation, and then save the file to use it with ProMan. Once again, the first step to start the example, we will open a new Wallman interface. The main window is gray at this stage. We can click on File, click on New Database, select Urban Building Database, and check the option to convert file from CAD data. Click on OK. The material properties for buildings and vegetations are default ones that are added. You can click on OK and select the filter to AutoCAD for DXF files. Except the coordinate options, you can select UTM coordinates, you can modify them and then click on OK. Once you click on OK, browse to the DXF file. Here is an example file for Frankfurt. You can click on the file and click on open. You would have to select the name of the file which will be saved as ODB, which is WinProp readable format. I can save it as Frankfurt 1 and click on save. Select the desired layers and click on convert to walls. Once the layer is convert to walls, you can select it and click on start conversion. Check ignore 2D objects and then click on OK. The conversion of database has finished. We click on OK to now see two different views. One is the 3D view and one is the 2D top view of the entire file. We can now go to settings, local settings, and check the fill objects to see the polygonal cylinders. To look at the building heights, we can go to local settings and check the option to display building heights in the status bar. Once you hover on a building, the maximum Z coordinate, which is the height of the building, will be shown on the bottom right hand side. We can select a building by left clicking on an edge of the building in the 2D display. So if I select, if I click on the edge of a building in the 2D view, I see that the building is highlighted in the 3D view. Right click and go to properties. To change the height of the building, we can change the Z coordinate to change the height. If I change the height of this building from 11 meters to 80 meters and click on OK, I will see that the height of the building has now increased. This is how you can modify the height of any buildings in the database. Users can select multiple buildings at the same time you pressing the control button on the keyboard, right click and go to material properties to modify the materials if the users choose to do it. To modify a particular building, you can select it in the 2D view and drag a corner as you want to increase or decrease the coordinate value. To add a courtyard or a tower from the left toolbar, we can select the add polygonal objects and then create a structure inside any particular building using single left clicks and then ending it with a single right click. Wall Manager prompts us to select it as or define it as a courtyard or a tower. We click yes. Once this is done, you can click on object mode 
select the object in the 2D view, right click and go to properties. As you saw that by changing the Z coordinate of the newly created structure, I could add a tower on that building. An added structure becomes a tower by choosing a larger Z coordinate for any one of the corners. Addition becomes a courtyard if user chooses a small Z coordinate for any of the corners. If you choose to create a courtyard, turn off the fill objects in local settings. Otherwise, the courtyard won't be displayed even though it will be recognized and locally take priority. Next, to add vegetation from the menu bar, we will select objects and click on enter vegetation. We can create blocks of vegetation by using single left click on an edge by creating a new polygon. So we select create new polygon create a new block a vegetation block will be created I can select the object mode select it in 3d view go to properties to change the z coordinate if needed the material is default vegetation as you can see so this is how we can create or modify a outdoor or an urban database. Since we have already saved the database, we can click on file and click on save database and it will be ready to be used with propagation manager.